This is um, World Refugee Day. It's a day I think has um, so many implications for people who are from refugee backgrounds. One is we are celebrating our achievements as refugee community. We come here to Australia, we contribute to the society, we are, we are celebrating that achievement at one hand. And then um, on the other hand also we are remembering all other refugees around the world who are suffering, who are really going through difficult times and um, remembering them, showing our um, solidarity to them. People here are coming from different backgrounds um, and from different, uh, completely different um, societies, I can say, as a minority group here and to represent themselves, their culture. And it's a very good opportunity for locals actually to learn about the different cultures and different backgrounds, which probably in the routine life they don't have the opportunity to do that actually. Sport is, a, is something which is very common and it's, um, it's a kind of common language. Sport obviously for uh, lots of uh, nations including our own is a big thing that brings people together. One of the big highlights of the festival here is that we have the finals here today in the World Refugee Day Cup. It's a day that's very much for refugees, so the majority of people that are here will be refugees, but there's also lots of people from the local community who come just to find out more about refugees and their culture and to experience the fantastic uh, food and entertainment that's here today. This is the real meaning of the multiculturalism. You can see different food, different culture, with different dress and different color, very colorful days of the humanity here. And, uh, as a refugee, we are happy to enhance the uh, more uh, support the multiculturalism here in Australia. It's all about like creating a multicultural society. Uh, people who are from different backgrounds, they come together. So it's, um, it's telling our potential as refugees that we are assets for Australia. Oh,